Hello, welcome to music class. If you've made it this far, then you've successfully logged on to Moodle, found our course page, and clicked on the start here file. So, good job. <laughs> That's probably the most important part. So, the first thing you need to do is look around the course, see what you think, find the syllabus, read the syllabus, and your first assignment, the syllabus choice activity. Go in there, click, I read the syllabus. So there you go. And your other assignments have to do with just getting started. So if you wanna scroll down to week one, underneath all the course documents and assignments and everything, you'll see week one and it'll tell you everything that's due for this week. But I'll tell you, since I got you right here, I'll tell you real quick. You need to complete our discussion forum number one, which is pretty much introducing yourself. Some of the questions are about your, you and your music and whether you have had music classes before and things like that. So feel free to uh, tell about yourself and in each discussion forum, you, you're online, you click on the assignment, there's a place that says answer the questions, follow directions, you make your post, it has to be a certain length, and answer the questions, and then you go and look at two other students' posts and comment on their posts. So it's all explained within the assignment, so have fun doing that. Uh, the other thing left to do for this week is to get started with the book. So you can do everything online. Let's look at the course page. So looking at this picture, this is King Oliver's Creole Jazz Band. And it's from the 1920s. The person in the middle is Louis Armstrong. He's very important to the history of jazz. He's known as the ambassador of jazz. He'll be with us through almost the whole history. This is his girlfriend, Lil Hardin. She wrote songs, was his manager. Now, this is King Oliver up here playing the trumpet. They, uh, King Oliver was from New Orleans. We've got the banjo here, a tenor banjo, clarinet. Now there's another clarinet. Louis Armstrong usually plays the trumpet, but here he's holding a soprano trombone, drums, big trombone, and on the floor is the trumpet which is Louis's instrument. So scrolling down, we've got the course announcements. I'll be sending out announcements about the class. And if you miss them or remember and wanna look at them again, you can look up there. All right, you're in the start here. And this is the syllabus choice, which you need to do today. Um, read the syllabus and then go back up into the syllables choice and check or the syllabus. So we've got my information, the grading information, and the course schedule. And I always go right to the course schedule to see what's going on if I'm thinking what's coming up next. Here's the online textbook, which is written by Jason De Cristofaro a professor here at AP Tech and it's free. It's all in PDF modules and you'll be able to access it right here in the middle course right away. Let's look inside. Now you can download them to your computer or you can open them in the browser. So let's look at module one. That's what you need to read for this week. 
So it's an introduction. It talks about how the course is laid out. And it tells about what makes jazz jazz. It's about seven pages long. So you need to do that for this week. The last pages are a glossary. And after you do your reading, let's X out of there, go back to general. You come back out to the course and you look at the discussion forum for this week. So take a look at the discussion forum general guidelines and then attempt discussion forum number one. And it is due Monday night, 11.55 p.m. This one is for a grade. Now the other ones are not for a grade. I will read them, but they are considered class participation. And if you are on the fence at the end of the course, I'll look and see if you've done those and it may be a determining factor. Now these are the listening quizzes and these are for grade scrolling down for a week's 11 and 13 you have options for your assignments. You can choose option A or option B and then 13 option A option B. They are for grade two. Now the written assignments. The first one is choosing your concert venue for your concert review. There are a lot of great places to see live jazz in Asheville. The second one is your first page rough draft of your concert review. And you can do this even if you haven't gone to concert yet. You can write introductory information. And then your final paper the live jazz concert review is due at the end of the course, December 16th, 11.55 p.m. And here's a list of venues around here that you might want to go to. So scrolling down to the class schedule, here's Cab Calloway. He'll be our guide through the class schedule. Week one, Class activities and announcements, visits start here. View the instructor lecture, module one. Now I've made you a lecture with a PowerPoint that you can view to learn about module one. Here's an announcement. There's a paper due at the end of the course. And your assignments, read the module, read the syllabus, and the general guidelines, complete syllabus choice, following the guidelines, post and comment in form one for a grade. And everything is due Monday, September 12th by 11.55 p.m. Now, if we scroll on down, you can see that each week is laid out for you and everything we do. I like to go over to the side and just pick week eight or something and you can hop all around the course and see what's going on. So there you have it. So you're probably thinking this is gonna be awesome and fun and you're right. <laughs> Jazz is great. And if you love it, you're gonna love uh, listening to it each week and learning the history behind these recordings. If you don't know anything about it, I think you're, you're going to find it uh, enlightening and refreshing. It's very cool stuff. So I am honored to be your guide along this musical journey. It covers just a few hundred years. Once we get through the origins of jazz, we are really going to focus on about a hundred years of history. So we'll get to learn a lot, go very deep. In the music appreciation class, when we talk about classical music history, 
it's 1500 years of history and we have to go fast and uh, can't be too detailed or we won't get through the whole timeline. But with jazz, we can really zero in and spend some time on the important recordings from the jazz timeline. So I'm glad you're with us. Please email me if you have any questions or uh, any comments about the course or if you see anything that doesn't make sense on the Moodle page. Otherwise, I will look for you in class and in your assignments, and I hope you enjoy the listening. Okay, see you soon.